him come to you versus oh, you come okay. to him. No problem. We are all dog people. Here, yeah. so. <laughs> And we're getting you folks an annual pass, yes, right? Please. Oh, right. Would you hold him? Yes, I will hold him. <laughs> it's a good day for a walk today. <laughs> Today, we spent some money as an investment in our future and our health. It's our Christmas present to ourselves. It's the State Park Family Pass. Like being gone for a year from this particular park is really making me appreciate it now. I'm loving it. Absolutely. Our normal walk, if we just do the boardwalk to the water and back, it's like one point. One point like three and a half. Or yeah, or not quite a mile and a half. This whole trail is a little over three miles, isn't it? I think it's right, I don't know, it's right at three. And there's a lot of sand, a lot of hills, yeah. and obviously a lot of cool nature. And a loop, which we appreciate a loop. And there's many points along the trail where we pass big birds' um, nests. Now, I don't mean big bird from Sesame Street, big birds like birds of prey. There's osprey nests <laughs> that sometimes the owls use, and there's a definite eagle's nest that we'll certainly show you. Yep. And I'll try to zoom in on it in post. If you want to see some cool eagles, you can go to, let's see, it's the Berry College Eagles. Berry College is in Georgia. Not sure where in Georgia, but they have a live cam on, like, I think two or three different views yeah. of the eagles. And they're there now. He drops it off, I pick it up. All the way back. Come on, keep coming. All the way back, mister. Keep coming, let's go. Come on. Touch mama's hand. Okay, all the way. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait, come here, hey, that is the way. Bodie. Come on, touch. Come on. Yes. Touch the mommy. That's right. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Just keep waiting. Okay. He's probably the most enthusiastic dog I've ever met. The real reason for us going down South Florida this particular Christmas I was planning to take my deceased father's French horn to my grandmother because she asked for it I guess why that's significant <laughs> is because when my dad passed away I mean other than like life insurance money I didn't get anything of his my grandpa like knowing that I was upset about that he sent me his college diploma and then eventually my grandma sent me some of his like high school medals like his band medals and different for different accomplishments so I had a few things like of him but I still really wanted his French horn because that was like the thing that you know makes me think of my dad so I asked my stepmom if I could have it and at the time she was not ready to part with it so I asked for um, some of our old Christmas ornaments. It took a while to actually get them. I had to drive down to South Florida to actually pick them up. And I got them January of 2014. So I got the ornaments and the French horn at the same time because she eventually was ready to give them to me. Like that was several years later. So then this September, I'm down, I was down in South Florida visiting my grandpa for his 80th birthday, right? 80th? Yeah, for my grandpa's 80th birthday. And I went and visited my grandma and she asked, she, well, she didn't really, she didn't ask. She said, I would really like to have it. And I'm like, all right, you know, it, it, for me on one level, it was like, okay, you know, it took me 10 years to get it, <laughs> you know, um, but okay. Like, you know, she's not going to be here forever. 
you know and I've had it you know I've had it for at least a few years now and like I got to have my like moment with it and like my grief or whatever it got to heal a little bit which is really kind of what it was about it was like a lot of acknowledgement kind of stuff anyways so I told her that I would totally bring her down to her for Christmas because you know at the time John and I had planned on moving into an RV and oh, I can't take that in the RV anyways it would have gone to storage for at least a short amount of time um, so it's like well might as well be with somebody who wants it rather than you know just sitting in storage so it made sense to me to take it to her and I'm prepared to take the French horn down and I get an email from her today. today I've never gotten an email from my grandmother before so that's brand new today the day before we're supposed to leave like we're going to leave eagle oh hold on you guys can't see it because it's a tiny little it. dot but we can see it Wait, i can't see it it's an eagle for sure oh, wait, there it is. grown up like that's our first eagle sighting we've been on the trail for 30 minutes so i got an email from my grandma this morning and like i said never have gotten an email from my grandma before and she basically says you know i really appreciate you you know you know offering to bring it to me but i don't need it anymore huh. okay <laughs> my plan to respond to my grandma is say well wow you know great to hear from you via email because that's cool i've never gotten an email from her um, um but also to say i understand that you don't need it but still would you like it you know like would you like to see it because you know well i think it would be nice to even if she doesn't keep it if we're if we're going down there at all which we're leaning towards doing that then we should bring it down just so she can cuddle with it for a minute you know what i mean yeah, like that'll be it. that'll be good for her and then she can make her decision on that right yeah because like i said you know she was not going to be here forever all i asked her, from her when i said absolutely you can have it was that i got it back after she passed that's all I ask for because I want to give it to my kids. Even if my kids don't want it, I'm going to be like, look, you just got to carry this thing around for the rest of your life and talk to your kids. And, you know, it's all I have. It's all I have to give to them, you know? And it's. I'm going to cry. I don't know. And it's one of the things, like, for me, one of the things I would like to do is be able to leave something to my kids, like property or something that could stay in the family like you know like we used to do back in the day so that's my story pretty much french horn not sure if i'm gonna take it to grandma or not i mean, i'm gonna take it i'm pretty sure but who knows so i got it for two years i'm super stoked that i've got to have it for two years and i'm perfectly happy to pass it around to the family because it's his energy yeah. More than anything else, it's the thing he's had since he was like 13 years old. Bodie, get out of the water! Oh no. He is full on in the water. Okay, but there's alligators. Okay, come yeah. on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, doofus. <laughs> yeah, Bodhi is an opportunistic swimmer. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> At least we have a muddy buddy, but we don't have any towels or anything. And we're almost done with the walk, too. We've got yeah, like so it doesn't even have very long to... 20 more minutes to dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Bodhi, this way. way. Come. Oh, now he's happy. That's a happy f***ing dog. <laughs> You're gonna need a bath now. And like a real bath. Now he smells all disgusting. Yeah, you're officially getting a bath. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Maybe we'll just try that wand in the backyard or something when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> the 
summertime when we have Bodhi with us after our walks, I have to stay in the car because you have to have the windows all the way down because it's hot. Right now, it's like 60 degrees or less. And just with the cracks, he'll be fine. Plus he's wet. Oh, yeah. He's not gonna get hot. Okay, so the next step, the next phase of our vlog, I'm hoping is going to be giving him a bath. And what's interesting about that, to me, is that he hasn't had a bath in over two years. So, and because he bites. And we're like, man, whatever. But my mom said, please give him a bath so he doesn't smell like fish, which I don't think he smells like fish. Right now he smells like something. <laughs> John's idea, walk around with the camera and ask people what the hell you're doing, or people will ask you what the hell you're doing, and then you get new subscribers because they're interested. So one of the drawbacks of the walk that we just took. <laughs> What's funny? You're what you're about to tell them. What am I about to tell them? Okay, I'm assuming what he's about to tell you. Let's have Amy tell the story. Go. Well, I think he's about to say one of the drawbacks of this particular walk is that there isn't a garbage can at the end of the walk. And he just realized he still has poop in his pocket. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> She's wrong. She's not wrong about the fact that I have dog poop in my pocket. But she is wrong about what I was going to tell you about. Sure. One of the drawbacks of the walk that we just took are ticks. I just pulled a tick off of my leg. Oh, no. It was crawling. Now I feel like they're everywhere. So now I have to kill it. Well, if you had a blog, <laughs> you're like, grandchildren, since you're not looking at me right now, I'm looking at you in the internet. <laughs> that would actually be really yeah, funny. But, yeah. yeah, but it wouldn't help at all. <laughs> As usual, I have all the groceries. And I'm hands-free. I'm the king. I think it's just a woman's thing. Like, carry uh, we, we carry shit. <laughs> we gather and carry. We're really good at it. So... It doesn't really hurt my feelings to do it. Muddy dog. All right, just for the record, that dog stinks. All right, stinker. Oh, look at how gross you are. I feel ticks crawling around my crotch right now. They're not. I feel them. They're not. They are. I can feel them. They're not. I'm going to go check my crotch for ticks right now. He always does that. He always thinks they're in his crotch. He probably has crabs or something thinking they're ticks. I would know. Have crabs? He doesn't have crabs. I would know because I would have them too. Come on, Bo. Oh, I don't have crabs. <laughs> See how she's carrying everything again? I'm always carrying. Just go open the door. Oh, my God. Is that dog food? Okay, but go. Don't even early. think about. I was gonna let them go out, actually. Okay. Look at the bad kitty. Look at the girl. Oh, kitty, are you okay? What happened? She started in front of me. That's typical. Are you okay? I'm fine. The door is a jar. Bodhi's a little over three years old, maybe three and a half now, and he hasn't had a bath since he was about six or eight, nine months old uh, because he is very sensitive to things being held down. He's just, he's a sensitive border collie and he does not like baths. He loves swimming. He just doesn't like baths and being held down and, you know, bathed and stuff. And so we basically gave up on giving him baths. 
I know, bad move, right? So today, we're gonna give him a bath, whether he likes it or not. We're gonna get him on the table like we do when we brush him and just, just get it. Just get it done, maybe get bit, mauled by our own dog. We'll see, but he's gonna get a bath right now and you're gonna get to see it as soon as I put the camera in this waterproof case. right here well I've got a, cup, a couple of them I've got them here right and here there, and then there's there. another one down here we've made an appointment we no no we didn't make an appointment I was just cupping my face she's basically giving herself hickeys kind of I had a headache yesterday because I was like you know sick I'm still sick but um and so I thought they might be good for my headache. So I had some on my neck. I moved them on my neck and cups. We're done for the day. Yeah, we're done for the day. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for watching. You guys just watched Bodhi's first bath in like two years. And he did really good. And I'm really proud of him. He did. And there will be more baths for him. You might not get to see them all. <laughs> but he will definitely get more baths in the future thanks to his performance during this bathing experience. He only growled at me one time. And that's when you were drying him off? I was drying him off. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. And um, we'll see ya. See ya soon. See you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.